Terry. It's Wednesday, May 3rd. I'm Lauren. And I'm Les. And you're watching THS, THS TV. TV. May is here and that means we're in the last month of school. For seniors, there's only 17 days of school left. For the rest of us, there's 19. Yep, so seniors already have gotten their caps, they've gotten their gowns and invitations, and all that's remaining is for you to, pay, to pass everything, pay off your fines, and make sure you're all clear for graduation on Friday, May 26th. Get your phones out and take a picture of the screen with some important dates on it. Monday is a panoramic picture. Seniors, you'll be called out of class to take the picture in front of the school. Grossback takes the pictures and they'll have all the prices on Monday. The trip to Splashway is Tuesday, May 16th. The price is $20, so be sure you give your money to Miss Ellis or Miss Pustera. This is something you won't want to miss, seniors. You get out of school, you get to go to the water park, and it doesn't count against your exemptions. Yep, so that's a deal. Uh, it really is, though. Yeah, I'll tell you what else is a deal, that donkey basketball game. It was a blast. Roman Salazar created this great video, so let's take a look. Video, Roman. All right, so seniors, decision day is Friday, May 12th. This is when the college room recognizes those who have chosen what they want to do after high school, whether it's going to the military or going to college. Come see Miss Parker or Miss Eggy. Um, speaking of the college room, if you are planning on attending college in the fall, stop by Miss Takel's office today. Here's our friendly neighborhood registrar who, with some information you need. Hi, EW. I want to tell you and your fellow seniors about the one last thing Ms. Tackle's going to bug you about. Um, I'll bug you about some other things before y'all leave, but it's your final transcript. Your final transcript has your date of graduation on it. The colleges have to have it before you can register for classes. So if you are planning on going to college in the fall, stop by my Tackle. My Tackle. Hi! 
Miss Tankle's office, my office, and sign the final transcript book. You just sign your name and what college or colleges you want me to send your transcript to. I will send them out in May and it has the date of graduation on it. I don't know if I said that. And that's all you have to do. So take care of it today because I don't want you standing in line to register for classes and then calling Ms. Tangle and crying in June because you can't register because they didn't get your final transcript. Sign the book. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> ah, I hope you edit that. This is the first Wednesday of the month and that means the bus driver needs to get a head count. Yeah, so you should get a slip in advisory class, so make sure you fill it out and give it to the bus driver this afternoon. If the weather if the weather cooperates, the choir will be performing the national anthem for the Astros. This is the 18th year that Ms. Klutz and her choir have been invited to sing for the Astros. Tonight the Astros are taking on the Texans Rangers and it should be a great game. Freshmen, there is an all-day retreat next Thursday, May 11th at Camp Choye. Make sure you come see Ms. Jones if you are interested. Athletes, the spring banquet is Tuesday, May 23rd from 6 to 8. Winter and spring athletes will be honored. Athletes eat for free and guests are $5. See Coach Jones for more information. There are some fun events coming up, so make sure you've got these in your planner. The band concert is Monday, May 15th. The choir concert is Monday, May 22nd. Field day is Friday, May 19th. That's a day that we have all kinds of water sports on Ranger Field. Athletes, make sure you see your coach so you're part of the field day. All right, so the Rangerettes had a great spring show last week. Maria Garcia was there. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the show. <laughs> Wilson and the Rangerettes, what a great year you've had. This past weekend was the prom. Congratulations to Henry Tejada and Clarissa Lara. They were voted prom king and queen. So everybody dressed up in their best. They danced all evening and they had a blast. Adriana Gon Gonzalez with the magazine staff was there to capture the night in the following pictures.
congratulations to the art student Roman Orellana. He received a $500 check from the veterans of Forging Wars Ladies Auxiliary for his painting of the Vietnam War. The Lady Ranger volleyball team is having a co-ed volleyball tournament. Um, the game for both guys and girls is next Friday, May 12th from 3.45 to 9. The cost is just $5. Sign up with Coach Ives or any Lady Ranger volleyball player. We want to wish Ms. Watson the best of luck. Today she's at a luncheon in Houston with the Anti-Defamation League where she'll be honored as a semifinalist for the Water Case Educator Excellence Award. You're tops in our books, Ms. Watson. Speaking of top teachers, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. We appreciate all the teachers, administrators, para-op professionals, and support staff for all they do for us here at Terry. We asked a few students and teachers what, to tell us what they appreciate about their Ranger family. Here's what they had to say. I appreciate Ms. Hopper, the Algebra 2 teacher, because she's, she's rough on her kids, but at the same time she shows them uh, you know, a little bit of sympathy, and she's always helping out her kids with whatever problems they need. She's tough, but she's the a great teacher. The teacher I appreciate the most is Mr. Rexford, because he is a good teacher. He teaches well, he, and he Ms. Ferrero, because she um, she's always with her kids, and she um, tries to get us to understand a bunch of stuff. And we can always talk to her about anything, and she's always there for us. And she understands what we go through. I, I can't begin to tell you how many people at this school I appreciate. It, it starts at the top and runs all the way down. I mean, I, I, I think of Miss Rose, I think of Dr. Osagi, I think of Mr. Young, I think of Miss Cornell, I think of Miss... Uh, everybody, on any given day, I could say I appreciate so much just for what they do. Uh, it, it's a team effort. Everybody works together. I, I appreciate the students because they're the ones that make learning fun. They're the ones that make our classes grow and evolve and, and get better. I appreciate the administrative folks here, the, the, the janitorial staff that keep our rooms clean, the, the, the ladies that, that keep us fed during lunch. There's not enough appreciation for, that I can give out to go around because everybody does such a wonderful job. I appreciate Dr. Clark because he's a new teacher here and um, he's like, you relate to him a lot. He's cool, he's fun to be around. So. I really appreciate Dr. Craig. He's someone I, I appreciate Ms. Wenzel because she's an excellent teacher who always pushes her students to go above and beyond and just she's an uh, awesome teacher overall. I appreciate Dr. Clark because he's been here with me since my senior year started and he's been like family and he's been like a friendly person. Like he jumps around but he'll still teach you everything and keep you in check when you have to do it. My teacher that I appreciate is Ms. Rodriguez because even though she's kind of crazy and like not organized, she's always there for the theater students and those who are not interested, she makes you want um, I appreciate Mr. Taylor because he always challenges his students to do their best um, on their musical instruments and he never settles for less. I appreciate Ms. Sofa a lot because she's like a motherly figure to us and she always tries to help her children succeed and do their best and even though she's going through a rough time right now, she still worries about us and so I just wanted to tell her thank you and do the best. I appreciate Dr. King and Ms. Konchiski for helping me go into the medical field. Okay, so I appreciate all the teachers here at Terry High School. Um, I think that we don't do enough to show our teachers how much we appreciate them. A teacher's job does not just consist of working from 8 to 4 o'clock. A lot of our teachers take home their work, and so they, they think about our students every day, even at night, and sometimes they don't spend time with their own family because they're here either working late or having to grade papers at home. So um, I appreciate all the teachers at Terry High School. I just want to say a happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, we really appreciate our teachers here at Terry High School. Um, although it's a Teacher Appreciation Week, but I truly believe that teachers should be appreciated every day of every week. Uh, our teachers work very hard. Uh, they are very dedicated. They are committed to the success of our students here at Terry and I just cannot tell you how much I personally as the principal here at Terry appreciate all of our teachers and I just want to say a huge thank you to all of our teachers for their hard work every day. We also want to wish Miss Worley a happy school nurse week. We so appreciate everything you do for us Miss Worley. She takes care of our cuts, scrapes, headaches, stomach aches and dispenses medicine. 
She also helps our special needs students, so we thank you, Ms. Worley. We appreciate and love having you as a nurse at our school. We love music here at Terry. We have a lot of musicians, and Donovan Francis is one who is hoping for a career in the music industry. Ganyu caught up with him this week. All right, we're here with Donovan Francis, a aspiring rapper who's trying to get through the whole game and stuff and try to run it. All right, Donovan, tell the people what your name is. Red, R-E-D, it's that for real entertaining dude. So, Donovan, why did you pick this name? Because I don't just do music, I do acting, you know what I'm saying? I do a lot of other stuff, and you know, it's, it all goes in one, the entertainment. All right, what's your inspiration to rap? Andre 3000, you know, um, all of the people like Bum B, PMC, UGK. Yeah, yeah. And all the H-Town rappers, you know, Lil Flip. Big Mo, I'll keep the Big Mo. All right, so other than like these Houston rappers, like what else would like inspired you to become like a rapper? Like, well, like my dad was rapping, you know, he he the one that introduced me to it, so it came natural. Okay, it came. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah. All right, bro. So, are you trying to take this rap career all the way? Yeah, man. Like, I'm trying to do my career, build up my career. And then on top of that, you know, produce, get into beat making as well. All right, so like, what else have you been doing outside of school to like help your career? Uh, I got a group, you know, YAE, Young and Deaf Empire. Yeah. We, we go to his house every day, you know, make music, record, just freestyle. All right. So what's like your favorite thing about rapping? Like in general, like what makes it like fun for you? It's easy, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, you say what you want to say, you know, how you feel. Oh, so it's like an expression. All right. Shine, I gotta stay on the grind, man, every time. Yeah, I gotta do it every day, busting the rhyme. Yeah, I'm at school, yeah, like bust the rhymes. Yeah, I'm fresh, just like toothpaste. Yeah, you can call me Mr. Colgate. Yeah, I'ma do it every single day. Yeah, I'ma do it for except my fate. Yeah. I am so ready for this weekend. Me too. Friday is Cinco de Mayo. This day honors the Mexican Army victory over the French forces on May 5th, 1862 at the Battle of Puebla. Luis and Sticks will give you the rundown on what to expect over the weekend. What's up, T-Hom, Sticks? And I'm Luis. And, and we're, we're the, the weather, weather crew. crew. This is the first week of May, and we're looking for a hotter days because the summer is right around in the corner. But it looks like it's going to be a good week, and the weekend after we get this rain behind us, tomorrow's weather looks pretty good. We're starting a warming trend with the high shooting up in the 80s over the next few days. On Friday, in addition to the good weather, the Rockets will be playing their second playoff game against the Spurs, and now here sticks with the looks, what it looks for the weather for this weekend. Alright man, make plans to get outside Saturday and put on sunscreen because it's going to be hot and sunny with a high of 84 and a low of 56. And for Sunday it will be another hot day but a really pretty one. The Rockets will be looking to take forward their third one against the Spurs. And that's, and that's all, all Terry. Have, have a great, great week. T-H-I out. What's up T-Hom, Sticks? And I'm Luis. And you we're the, the weather, weather crew. This is the first week of May, and we're looking for a hotter days because the summer is right around in the corner. But it looks like it's going to be a good week, and the weekend after we get this rain behind us, tomorrow's weather looks pretty good. We're starting a warming trend with the high shooting up in the 80s over the next few days. On Friday, in addition to the good weather, the Rockets will be playing their second playoff game against the Spurs, and now here sticks with the looks, what it looks for the weather for this weekend. Alright man, make plans to get outside Saturday and put on sunscreen because it's going to be hot and sunny with a high of 84 and a low of 56. And for Sunday it will be another hot day but a really pretty one. The Rockets will be looking to take forward their third one against the Spurs. And that's, and that's all, all Terry. Have, have a great, great day. day. T-H-I out. Let's talk about some fun for the weekend. Opening at the movies in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, if you love the strange but fun crew in the first movie, you'll like this one. The movie's rated PG-13. 
If you're in the mood for some live entertainment, the Circo de Vienda is performing at Disco Green Friday from 7 to 9. It is free. And this is all for this week, Terry. On behalf of the entire okay. THF's crew, we wish you a great day and remember, Ranger Pride every day, everywhere. Every